Last time out, we had a great start to Premier League life, beating Palace and drawing to Brighton. Sitting us in 8th in the league after two games, which would be a dream finish for us this first season. Our first game we came against Wolves. They had a free kick, Jean Moutinho swings the ball in and it's headed in by Collins at the back post. Ten minutes later, Wolves find themselves in possession again. A couple quick passes and a mistake by Aurier allows Guedes to take them 2-0 up. The damage isn't done yet as Johnny picks up a loose ball and scores from range, leaving it a final score of 3-0. It's Carabao Cup time against Crystal Palace. Emmanuel Dennis is quick off his mark to tap in our knees cross. Unfortunately, it does get ruled offside by VAR. It took a while for a breakthrough, but up steps Brennan Johnson to tuck away his penalty, claiming a 1-0 win. Our reward for beating Palace a second time in two weeks is to, of course, go into the next round of the Cup. I was hoping for a chance to have a big change-up versus a lower league team and give some of our players who are going to struggle for game time this season some valuable minutes. But we drew Liverpool. We can't rest for too long, though, as we have a game against relegation rivals Fulham. Lingard sends a ball across to Johnson, who sends the ball into the roof of the net. We then try to push and extend our lead, with Lingard driving up the pitch, feeding Awani to round off a 2-0 win. Next up, Tottenham paid us a visit, and it was once again Awani who managed to grab a goal very early on. We were able to go 2-0 up when Nico Williams sent a Hail Mary to Awani. He calmly dinks Lloris. Moments later, Spurs get a penalty. It's 2-1. 25 minutes remain, but hopes of a win were thinned out by an unmarked Kulisevsky to equalise at the back post. And with only a matter of minutes left, Tottenham pushed on and brought an end to any hope of getting any points, coming back for a 3-2 win. The summer transfer window is now closed, and £2.09 billion have been spent in the Premier League alone, which is an insane amount of money. Not many notable moves happened this window, aside from the real-life signings. Orsic got a move to Tottenham for around £13 million. Our next opponents, Leicester, had a cash injection with sales of James Justin to Man City for £33.5 million, Stanya also left to PSG for 35 million. No big replacements or improvements were brought in, surprisingly. Our transfers? Well, with 22 players being brought in the summer in real life, there was no money for us to add to that, nor did we want to. We already have a big challenge ahead by bringing this whole team together. We get into the Leicester match with them having the first highlight. Vardy splits through our defence and sends them 1-0 up. But after all, this is a local derby, and someone who knows that very well is Brennan Johnson, who managed to equalise for us. Our next game against West Ham starts off very well, Jay Ling's cutting inside and scoring in the bottom right corner. But I'm afraid the lead doesn't last for long. Bowen grabs a loose ball, sends a long ball for Skamaka, and we get chipped. To add insult to injury, we concede again within two minutes as Lanzini scores the winner. During the West Ham game, both Lodi and Toffolo got knocks, and at Forest we have a bit of a curse at left back. Is this foreshadowing what's to come with injuries this season? And one person who would agree with that last statement is Wayne Hennessy, our backup goalkeeper who was brought in real life to be our number two for this season. He's got Premier League experience, but now he's gone and done his cruise shirt. Furthermore, he's now considering calling it a day. And with Horvath and Smith both out on loan and it being outside of the transfer window, we have no option to recall them, so we do have to rely on youngsters. The next game we play is at home to Villa. There's a scramble in the box which goes in our favour. And like a few times this season, we cannot hold on to leads very well. Silas squares the ball to McGinn for a very, very easy equaliser. Eight games have been played in the league so far with mixed results. Arsenal and Liverpool are around the corner. And as of right now, we are 10th, but I fear in the next couple of games, we could start sliding down the table. And that is all for today's episode. I'm trying a new format yet again, so make sure to let me know if you like this by dropping a like on the video and whilst you're down there you might as well subscribe also but anyway have a great day i'm out <laughs>